We were facing problems. I have two children. Survival of the three was getting very difficult. We were in a crisis. We didn't have a concrete house. It was a small house made of hay. Udaygiri artisan's means of income was literally non-existent as the craft, which was their livelihood, was on the verge of dying. Sheikh Abdul Bashir, the lone torchbearer of this art, has relentlessly pursued to keep the craft alive. They should be skilled. They should be keen to do work. That's what I was looking for. Never vouched for money. The younger generation should develop the skill. They should learn the art. This was the sole intention of mine. The money was never a factor. The craft a hereditary occupation earlier, practiced by both men and women, now is slowly taken over by women. Lack of support to the activity, only the old aged engaged in the craft and the new generation showing least interest in the art have made the art get confined to few. Nabad's DDM and CJWS officials recognized the potential of the craft being a great source of income for the women of Udaygiri. On Nabad's initiation, the officials resolved to revive the craft. Itana Jyoti Welfare Society, which is based in Nellur, they have been associated with this wooden cutlery artisans for the last 20 years or so. So with the, our uh, grant sanction, we have identified 90 women. All of them are SHG women. And these 90 women were given a training program in uh, three batches. Three batches of 30 each. The master uh, trainers were from uh, the old uh, age people who are already trained and who, who have practiced and who have been practicing the activities since long time. Softwood. Prime requisite to carry out the craft is available in the forest of the hills of Durgampalli. Officials met with the forest department and induced them to provide the raw materials to the artisans and agreed to create a wood bank for regular supply to the artisans. The essence of the craft lies in the complexity and geometric patterns. The women craft the regular utility products with beautiful forms and designs and take it to a greater level of appreciation. Marketing the products posed challenges. To meet the challenges, Nabad sponsored a series of exhibitions to showcase the products. A dedicated e-commerce portal named UdayagiriWoodenCutlery.com was developed with the financial assistance from Nabad. This turned out to be a great idea as through the portal, sales have picked up. The cutlery is mostly sold as gifts and table decoration items. Previously, I used to earn only rupees 50 doing catering. Now my earnings have risen up to rupees 200 with this work. We are able to save some money too, fulfill our wishes, get new clothing. Now happiness finds its way in our house.
the outcome exceeded the expectation and the endeavorance became a resounding success. The objective of enhancement in income generation capacity of these artisans and other people of Udaygiri was accomplished.